Assalamu alaikum. The hujab, it can be a mountain to overcome. I know because I have hujabs and I never really got into trying to figure out how to use them for myself. It wasn't until like this blog post that Amina put up that I actually like sort of wrote out what she did it make sense to me how I could get that look. And so I'm going to show you how I tied it originally and why I did not, I was like, why no? Figure it out for myself. And I actually, once I, once I like sat down and actually was like, okay, so this and this, I like it better than a regular hijab because it doesn't constrict me here, which is strange because I have my workout hijab here. And I'll show you how I pinned it originally, which is sort of like a method based on how I tie my hijab. Um, pretty much every day since the beginning, dawn of time. I have my underscarf, which is this. I did a video on it, I'll link it in the doobly-doo. On my old channel, it's there. But, this is my mirrors over here. So I have my underscarf tied, as well as I can with this guy under it. You want your foundation, your underscarf is your foundation. If it's loose and sliding around, that's what your hijab will be. This is a high-low. So it's typically, this is for skinny people, but this is the only one I have right now. This is how I originally did it. I pinned it under here, and then I wrapped, and then I wrapped both sides, one this way and that. And it gave me this look. I'll show you. So I pin under here, which is how I do my hijab, right? And then I would take this around. And you see barely any coverage, right? I had coverage kind of, but I had a, like a lot of fabric. I had a lot of fabric right here, which <clears throat> felt like that. When I watched it, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to get some bobby pins. So that's what she recommended. And I never tried it because of how, oh, I dropped a pin, of how my underscarf is. See how it goes straight back? Um, but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try. So this is, this is Amina's um, main hujab style. Go up. This is the foundation for my style as well, for the one that I'm which I played around with and the one that I really like for myself. Um, I really like this one too because there's so much you can do for variation wise which she explains in the blog post. What she does is she flips it and the reason is so this can drape across her face in a nice way you know. Don't mind the tag. Um, so she put this far enough back where it'll go, All right? So she'll pull it up and around. What was that? No idea. Um, and lay it in the back there. And then she does folds, but because I want coverage in the back, I'm not gonna do folds. And then she takes this one, right? And lays it here. And this is how she gets her triangle by putting it just like that. Now you can Put the low or the high one in there, whichever way. And then you can play with your coverage, right? You could bring this up. If you have like a really decorative top, right? You can bring it up and then you get less, like mine is decorative. So I want coverage, but I don't want to like cover all of it so there or like I did before can bring it down and you get sort of like that really pretty drape and then 
pin, I would pin here, and then one back here. But hopefully that makes sense. How I decided to do mine, I wanted, I wanted the part to be like kind of over here, and then drape on this side, and then sort of like tighter on this side. Hmm. Just sort of something I was like, oh, I want to try to see if I can do something like that. You have your long bits, and what you're going to do is you're going to cross them behind. And then you're going to flip it on top so that this goes around your face nicely, right? And then I want to get this part just so. So I'm going to look at my mirror over here. Because I like, the thing that I like about one of the hijab styles that Amina did was the Ace Aminikin. I liked how I looked with that kind of side part kind of thing going. But I was too fidgety to keep it in place. Because I'm like three. And then... I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna get the coverage you want, and bring it up parallel to the last bit. And again, you can play with your coverage, right? So if I want this lower, I pull it lower. And then I'm left with this really, I don't know, I kind of love this. I don't do folds. Nope. I would have to pin every single fold. Like one fold, two fold, three fold, four fold. And ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so I'm going to pin this little buddy in place. And I'm pinning it all the way through. And then I'm going to pin here and here. So I get both Garvey bits in it. Now, it's secure. Move it back just a wee. That's it. Like, I don't have, like, I literally just have this around my neck, right? And it's, it's kind of, it's like really loose. I don't have a lot of fabric besides, of course, my turtleneck around and I'm getting the coverage I want, you know, like it's the same coverage. Now, this is with a high low, so it's specifically meant for petite people. I'm not petite, like I said before. So if I wanted a bigger coverage, more coverage, I would go for the regular hijab. Uh, so the maxi hijab. Or, probably, in my case, because I am plus size, or above average size, I'm tall and I'm also big, uh, the wing hijab was actually made for that. So I would get more back coverage, I would get more front coverage. Alhamdulillah. So that's sort of what that's about. Now, because of my cute little outfit, look at the frillies. <laughs> I look like Anna Green Gables or something. But I might as well bling it out, right? This is my favorite daisy chain, and I, I'm i not a fussy person, so I like this one because it doesn't have a lot of dangly bits and such. But I would put it here and then pin around my head. Pin head. Maybe I'll do that and I'll be right back. I was talking to Amina and she was like, you have to come up with your, cause I was like so proud that I did the, yesterday I posted on Instagram cause I was so proud I did the, um, the 
her standard who job style. I was like, ah, I'm so excited. And she's like, you have to come up with your own. And, and I was like, I don't know how. And she's like, just play, just play, just keep playing until you find a style that you like. And you know what? She's right. I, I think this suits my face. Um, a little bit better. And it gives me less up here, which I'm a big fan of. Got plenty of fabric back here. That's where the bulk of it is, actually. The reason I really like this is because my other style was very military, right? And you, as a girl, you want something a little bit more feminine. And I like the fact that this is a little bit more femme, right? Um, it, it's just... It just makes me feel more like girly, which I like. Before it was very cool, 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 cool. And you saw in the uh, hijab sort of challenge how tight I wear it. And I, when I put it on Becca, she was like, I can't smile. This is so much nicer, but I feel secure. Like, I feel like it's not going to move about, you know? It's like there. Alhamdulillah. All right, inshallah this helped you, and inshallah that you can just go to town with the hijab and feel confident. Honestly, just play with it uh, and find a style that suits your face. Assalamualaikum.